So by using a dictionary instead of a list, we get a lot more information that's going to be really useful to us as we go through this script. Now this is the skeleton of the script that we're going to be looking at. I've hidden all the functions for the time being, but the first thing that I want to call to your attention is instead of using a list this time, we're going to use a dictionary. Now previously in a list, we just stored and appended to the end of that list and it worked really, really well. However, we now want to associate other values with the address that we give out. So instead of using a list of lists, a dictionary can be a lot better here because it's a bit more uniform. And I've got a sample bit of output that we can actually investigate. So in my dictionary, when this is complete, I should see something like this. I've still got three entries in this case, 12, 18, and 16. But when I expand these entries, I now get some additional information underneath them. The address is the address that's being leased. So that's the key and the value that it equals. We've got the key of lease time and the value that it equals. We've then got the expiry time and the epoch time in which it was going to expire. And then we've also got the expiry date, which gives us date and time as well, which is a bit better for visible use.